seriously exciting. beautiful Tuesday after work and we are back here with the van. Dan, tell us, tell the people what we're working on today. Working on walls, same as the last few days. Same as ever. Let's get into it. Includes another night shift of van work. It's so dark out. <laughs> Will you finally let me go to sleep now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to day one of painting. We're inside today. We're in the basement and we've got all of our wall pieces and different like wooden sections of the van that we are going to prime now. So then hopefully they can dry and then tomorrow we can put on our first coat of paint. This is very exciting because um, I feel like we're finally going to see some of the visuals of the van start to come together, but we have a long way to go. So let's get started. It has been about 24 hours, maybe a little less, and we are back at it again. Primer is dry, and we are ready to do our first coat of paint. So Sarah and Joel stopped by and helped us out for a little bit. We cut all of the lumber for our benches, so the fronts and the lids. That took a while to get everything sized perfectly, but now that we've got everything cut, it's time to prime and paint these pieces as well. And then we've got to do a second coat on our walls. Are you an expert painter now? Pretty much, yeah. I mean, you certainly look like you're pretty deep into painting. Well, I work hard. And with all of that painted, that should put us in a pretty good position to have most of the big stuff kind of done. So. Soon we'll be ready to start attaching it in place. And here we are with the van. Yay, and it's so sunny and beautiful. I'll show you what's going on with the van. Here's the workshop. Ooh, these look good. Dan's dad was doing some staining work for us, which we're very appreciative of, and it looks great. So we're still kind of a construction site around here. We do have these lovely floors, which we've installed and our beautiful electrical system, which looks really good. Um, yeah, and we've got these wall panels that I uh, made and installed. And I think, what do you think, Dan? What are we working on today? Um, I think we can start putting the walls up. Yeah? Yeah. Crazy because uh, my hair is gonna get caught. Yeah, where's your lab eyes. safety? You got the open toes, loose hair. <laughs> uh oh. We're working on some of our finishing touches to the wall so that we can actually start to install it. So that's stuff like uh, putting all the necessary holes in for the solar monitor, the battery monitor, and a light switch. Um, we're doing the same thing on one of the windowsill pieces because we're going to have a USB-C charger right there like above where the bed is going to be. We found some lighting, so now we can see what's going on in the van, so the work continues. What are we doing, Dan? We're going to install the windowsills. Nice. Very exciting. Yeah. 
And here's the windowsill fully installed. What do you think? It's pretty good. I mean, it'll look really good once we actually have the wall in front of it, but... Uh, Set your phone down. And then charge it right here. Alright y'all, welcome back to Katie and Dan in a van. This is very exciting because we have been working towards this for weeks and I know Dan hates it when I hype stuff up because we don't want to like feel disappointed by it. But this is seriously exciting because we have been cutting wall panels, painting wall panels and doing all that stuff and finally on this beautiful Thursday evening we are getting to the point where we can now put them up and start to see our walls come together. Now Dan's ready. We're ready. Let's ready. do it. Calm down before you stress up the groove. The energy a little different when the blessings are cool. Looking good so far. Two boards down. One more on this side. So the sun sets on another successful day of the van build. We've got our walls in. How good does that look? We're finally seeing some progress towards this van looking how we want it to look. And I'm so excited. I mean, right now it might be a bit confusing to the uninitiated. But the reason why we have all these gaps at the top is because this is where our upper cabinets are gonna go and the upper cabinets will much more easily conceal the ribs and stuff than a straight up and down wall. So like the back will be curved. So that's what's gonna go there. And then um, our lower cabinets will cover up some of these places where we have wires coming in and out. Um, but yeah, it's looking so good. Um, now we're gonna clean up and uh, head home, but we'll be back on the weekend to do even more fun work. Good morning. It is a really, really beautiful day for April 10th. Like we're out here at like 10 a.m. in shorts and t-shirts. And today we're working on the ceiling because last time we were here, we got our walls all nailed up. And so our next step is gonna be getting the ceiling up and then we can move on to cupboards to finally cover up all the remaining stuff, you know, studs, etc. So this is the general approach we're going to do. The slats and they'll get stapled on to this backing board. Yep. I think we'll actually start by putting the, this black backing board up on the ceiling first and then stapling the slats up to the ceiling. And I think we'll do them like the width of one apart, which is about three quarters of an inch. So we can use little off cuttings to space them out the right amount. Do you think that's kind of the right spacing? I think it looks good, yeah. You think we'll have enough boards if we do three quarter inch instead of inch spacing? Like the fact that it's 11 feet instead of 13 Let's, will allow we'll for that? Let's do some calculations okay. to figure that out. Yeah. Well, it looks good though. Do you like the color? Yeah, I do. I think it looks good. our holes for where the light wiring is gonna go up through the ceiling and of course we're gonna add the slats later but we've got to get our like black plywood backing on the ceiling first and that's kind of the first challenge because it's gonna be difficult to hoist it up and nail it into place and we're also trying to like get our wires strung through as we do this so they continue to be accessible so that we can like wire everything in so wish us luck basically is what I'm saying
made some really good progress so far. We're about to tackle this center board that has the lights in it, which is the hardest part because it's gonna have to be a bunch of little pieces with the correct size hole in them to fit the lights. But look, it's looking so good already. I'm so excited. Sometimes I feel like the smallest details can take way more time than you ever think they will. Like if you were thinking about doing a van conversion, the last thing you're going to consider is how you're going to cover up that metal part that goes above the back doors. And that's pretty much what our evening has been dedicated to. And like we're mate, we're not even halfway done. <laughs> so uh, you never know what kind of stuff you come across doing the van life thing. How's it looking? Pretty good. Yeah, nice. At the same time, these things take so long, but they are so satisfying when you complete them. Like, I just am still in love with the ceiling. I think it looks so good. The walls look so good. So like every step of the way, there is like so much fulfillment in completing it, even if it takes like 10 times the amount of hours you think it will. All right, so this is the idea. It's kind of dark in here now because the sun is setting, but we've got our wood pieces cut to match the curve of the roof and this little indent here, and then now I've just got to paint them. We do not know what we're doing. We're just going to keep working away at it. That's all we can do.